I'm going to go through this as if it was on a laptop presentation. And obviously, we're going to try to give it full screen so you can see what the um, seller would be seeing. And I'm going to talk through the, the pages as if we were just doing this in a kind of quick live role play. Now, I'm going to go through this quickly for instructional purposes. Um, we're going to talk about how you can make it your own, add stories, things that you're going to want to do to bring it to life. But remember, they don't want to sit here and hear you talking for an hour at all, right? Especially if they're a tiger. They're going to go, great, great, great. I don't care how, how this is all done, just how much am I going to make and how long is this going to take? But we do need to make sure that we are very clear on explaining the strategy to them. Because if they don't understand that our strategy is what makes us unique and special compared to any of our competitors, then we're no different than everyone else. And when we're no different than anyone else, the only thing that we can negotiate on is our value. And I don't want you ever in a situation where you're negotiating on your value. So that's why strategy is so completely important here. Okay. So now we're going to flip to this first slide. So imagine this is on your laptop. So great. So Susie, uh, let's start with talking about Colorado's most innovative home selling program. So first of all, why sold in 65? And the reason that we developed this is we identified that there were two major problems with the traditional way that real estate has been sold, costing you, the seller, thousands of dollars. Now, what we know the first problem is, is of course, time on market. Now, when we talk about time on market, we know that the opportunity that you have as the seller to make the most amount of net money for your home happens in the first seven days of you being on the market. As you can see here, sellers that have sold within the first seven days usually sell for a hundred percent or more of their actual initial asking price. Now, as you can see here on this graph, every day that we get past that seven days, we become what I call a depreciating asset, meaning that buyers are looking at the property and going, okay, this hasn't sold yet, must not be a lot of interest in it. Why is it not selling? And when they do make you an offer, if they make you an offer, they're going to make you a lower offer. And also they're going to make you an offer with terms that not might not be exactly what you want. And a lot of times terms can be just as important as price. Now you can see here as we get to 50 plus days, it drops to 85% of your initial asking price. So for simple math, if you were listed at a million dollars, that means you're going to get about $850,000 for your home once you get past that 50 day mark. And Susie, I think you would agree, right? You, you don't want to lose 150,000 or 15% of your initial asking price. That's why time is so important. Okay. Now, the second major issue that we found is sellers were losing thousands of dollars on costly inspection repairs. So now we get your property under contract, then the buyer comes through, and they basically go through your house and tell you that you need a brand new home because everything is too old, everything needs to be fixed. And even if you have a brand new home or a newer home, they're going to be trying to find something and then they're going to want you to repair that. So you can see here from this diagram, you know, the cost can add up anywhere from $500 to $25,000. And I've seen even higher than that in what the buyers are going to be requesting for you to provide as either a concession, meaning money at closing in lieu of fixing the items, or they're going to want you to go and fix all of these things, costing you thousands. So our program decided to focus and solve these two major problems. And in doing that, the first thing that we realized is in order to make sure that we are getting you the highest price in the shortest amount of time, which both are a factor, we created what we called our 65 hour showing weekend, which is sold in 65, 24 hours on Saturday, 24 hours on Sunday, and by 5 p.m. on Monday. That's the 65 hours. Now, during this 65 hour showing weekend, 
What we really focused on was creating buyer urgency. Now, Susie, when we create buyer urgency, one of the things that we realized is that we need to make sure that we are getting as many people into your property in the shortest amount of time to get them excited about them and then create a fear of loss, FOMO, right? We're gonna create this fear of loss so that they not only make you offers, but they make you offers above your initial asking price and we create this competition frenzy to make sure that we're setting record-breaking price per square foot for your home. Foots, foot for your home. So in doing that, the way that we've developed our program in what makes it so special, in, in doing this, we have what we call our VIP showing window. Now with our VIP showing window, we set this up in a process where we have a coming soon period to get everybody excited about the property. The next thing that we do is instead of when we go active in the MLS, instead of just letting everyone have one off showings and call you up and go, Susie, you know, the traditional way they call you up and go, hey, you got an hour to get out of your house. And I know you have six dogs and two kids, Susie. It's a whole nightmare. We flipped it on its head and we said, look, we're going to go active in the MLS, but we're only going to allow people to have access to see the property in a, in a one hour window. Prior, uh, prior to us releasing this to the public, Sunday at 12 o'clock. So here's how it works, Susie. It's, uh, we go active on Wednesday. We put a block in, the, in our, what we call our MLS showing service. And we go, you can't see this property, even though it's active on the MLS, until Sunday at noon. Except, and we have a little piece of verbiage in there, the seller may authorize an agent accompanied showing please call me and I put my phone number for details if you have a serious buyer. Now, we know the reason why people have a serious buyer it, or an agent looks at this and they go, well, this thing is beautiful. It's priced correctly. It's, or it's priced fantastically. It's all of these things are a factor. I want to get in and see this property before everyone else gets the opportunity to see it Sunday at 12 o'clock. So I start receiving calls. And what I do is now I weed out the looky-loos, I weed out your neighbors, I weed out all of these people that are probably not necessarily interested in your property. They call me up and I go, uh, I, I pre-call them on the phone. So talk to me a little bit about your buyer. If they see the property, are they in a position to make an offer today? Do they need to sell before they buy? Um, uh, can you please send me over the pre-qualification letter? I have this ability to vest these buyers and find out what their situation is. So you're not bothered with having random weirdos through your home and people that are probably not gonna be in a position to even make you an offer. Now, what this does is first of all, it makes the agent feel special when we go, great, you can see the property Saturday from 10 to 11, I'm going to meet you there. They feel special. They feel that when they call their buyer that they're getting in before anyone else so, so they have this great sense of like, I've got a golden ticket. Now what they don't understand, or maybe not even understand, we're gonna do this with multiple people and we're gonna funnel all of these people to our VIP showing window from 10 to 11 on Saturday. Now I'll pause for a second here because I know I'm gonna get questions about this. It doesn't have to be Saturday from 10 to 11. We're gonna talk about this later. You can do different days. You can do multiple ones of these if you want to. But the strategy that we're delivering here is that we're trying to funnel everybody through one or two hour window to create social proof, meaning excitement and, and people driving to see this property. And then we'll talk about what we do once they're there. But just want to side note that, that, you know, as I'm, ex I, I, as you're, I'm explaining this to you, you can fluctuate that time and date. You just want to have enough time from Wednesday to Sunday to make this work. Now, before I move forward, I can already hear that limited belief devil on your left shoulder going, that would never work here. Blah, 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 blah. It works everywhere. I've got people all across the country calling me up, Brennan, going, I had to tweak a few little things, but this works and it's amazing and my sellers love me and we've been getting over asking price offers over and over again without the seller having to do one-off showings, without having to do open houses. So, 
bear with me. We'll have questions at the end, but but go with a mindset of of you know flick that little devil off your shoulder. I know every MLS is different. I know every area is different. You're going to understand concepts today, and then we can always talk about how to customize this concept to you. Now. The craziest thing about this concept is this is how they usually do it in most other countries, most other countries, in other countries, right? This is how they do it. America had been, has been a little bit different in how they've sold houses. And a lot of those reasons were because agents were trying to put properties on the market back in the old days to create open houses to get buyers to come through the house so that they could meet more buyers and they thought that that was part of their lead gen program. That's crazy, right? I don't take listings to try to get a bunch of new buyers so that I can go work with buyers. I take listings to get listings sold, make my seller extremely happy, and then take more listings because then I have control over my time Remember, six times more effort for the money to work with a buyer than to close one seller. Six times, six times. So I wanna make sure we understand the concept of why this works and, and as we move forward. So we'll, we'll make sure we have an opportunity for questions. So back into the scene, right? So, and, and, and Bree, we'll get to that in just a second. So now, um, so what happens, Susie, is now we have all of this excitement. I have qualified buyers that are wanting to see your home. They feel like they're VIPs because they're getting into the property before anyone else can see it on Sunday. And then we do what we call our VIP showing window. Now, we've had anywhere from five. We just had a listing uh, uh, about a month ago. We had 138 people lined up down the street to come in for this VIP window. Now imagine what that creates. It creates excitement, just like uh, an Apple store, you know, releasing a new iPhone. There's a line of people, there's excitement. Instead of this trickle of one after another, after another of people coming through. The other big piece is either me or one of my associates are going to be there to meet them in person. The reason I say associates, when you're doing 10 of these a week, you're going to have other people that are going to be showing up to do your VIP showing window for you like you would if they were doing an open house for you. That's that's called leverage, our favorite L, right? Leverage. So we'll, we'll talk about that. That's 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 a great problem to have when you get there, right? And, and that's what we're going to do. So Susie, when they show up, um, what we do is, again, everyone's going to be coming. I welcome them into the home. I'm gonna provide them with a one pager that's gonna have all of your seller preferred terms on it. We're gonna show you a sample of that here in a second. Again, I'm breaking script, but I would show her a sample of that. We're gonna tell them exactly what you want, how you want it, and when you want it. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to explain to them your story. I'm gonna humanize you and the reason that you're selling. Now, if I have 10 people coming in at once, I'm gonna do this with a group of 10. I'm gonna say, welcome everybody. I'm glad that we could get you all in. Uh, the seller made this exception before letting it go to, to the public on Sunday. Um, we're excited. The reason the seller is story, first of all, her name is Susie Swanson, single mom. She's an amazing woman. Um, uh, she's moving because she needs to go back to Alabama to be closer to her mother. Her mother's gotten her sick. Her mother's name's Barbara. She's, uh, you know, she just loves her so much. Um, she's loved living here. This home has been everything to her. Whatever the story is, every story is going to be different, but you're humanizing the seller because the psychology of the buyer, once I know that I'm making a transaction with a human and not a house, the way that I deal with everything moving forward becomes very different. The relationship becomes very different. Now, again, that devil's on your shoulder. Some people are going, I don't give a heck. I don't care if she you know, just blah, 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 blah. I'm going to give her a low ball offer anyway. Granted, there are some people like that, but the majority of human beings are human beings and they want to act like human beings. So when you're humanizing the seller and giving them their story, that really makes that connection. Then I let them know about the special features. It's got Viking this, it's got a sauna, it's got a this. If it doesn't have any great features, Again, make up whatever the best feature that you possibly can, right? Like it's the lowest priced condo in blah, blah, blah. 
it's got a carport and the carport faces south. I mean, be creative here, but if there is any special features, if there's not and it's just the worst property on earth, skip it, okay? Then we're going to, of course, talk about the hidden gems. Now, remember, Susie, when we were sitting down in your living room, you talked to me about that amazing block party that happens every 4th of July or on Halloween, you guys all decorate your houses or such and such or such and such. I tell them the hidden features or excuse me, the hidden gems. And then here's what the most important part is, Susie, is what I do next is we call this closing the window. Now, it's not a physical window. Now that they've seen the property, I've given them all the information, I go, Obviously, you can see that there's a lot of excitement about this property. Of course, we have a lot of people that are going to come to the public showing tomorrow at 12. If you or your buyer want to be in a position to make sure that this doesn't go to public tomorrow, I'm going to need a fantastic offer no later than 5 p.m. today. So John or Betty or whatever the agents or you're also going to get individual buyers that come as well. We'll talk about that. Um, so, so are you going to be in a position to have that offer to me by five o'clock today? Now, right here, they're either going to say yes, no. They might be like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, I don't know if we can do it that quickly. What I've done though, is I've created a, a timeline of, of excitement, of, of mental psychology of them going, oh my gosh, if I don't do something that, that we could, we could miss this opportunity. And it also weeds out who's serious or not. I don't want to have to go under contract with somebody that's not serious, right? Now, I'm talking to you, not her, but, but so it, you're gonna make that a little bit softer. So now what happens is we, we now start, everyone goes back and they start coming together with their offers. They know exactly what you want because of our seller preferred uh, brochure. They know exactly how to draft the, the agreement the way that you're wanting it for your, for your needs, not, not what they want. Now they go, they come back, and now I start receiving offers, right? I start receiving offers. Now, when I receive offers, you would think that, hey, great, Brennan's gonna start giving me offers. No, that's what makes us different. Now, when we start receiving offers, as we start receiving offers, before they leave the home, I also let them know that this property is protected with our inspection protection program. And with our inspection protection program, that means that we cover your home with a supreme home warranty. Now we do that through a company called 210 Home Warranties. Now this is, this is the, the supreme version of a home warranty. Now it's gonna cover uh, the property while we're uh, actively listed, while we're under contract, and for 12 months after we close for the buyer. So Susie, what this does is it gives the buyer peace of mind that not only can they now make a good offer, the home is going to be protected for an entire year. So maybe I know you told me your furnace is 20 years old or the hot water heater's kind of getting up there in its last leg. And I know you said there was some, some maybe issues with the, the refrigerator you were a little concerned about or all of this. We also know, Susie, that there's Murphy's Law. As soon as we go and put your property on the market, right, in the, ne in the next few days here, or well, depending on what you know about her timeline, as soon as we do that, something could break. Right? I wanna make sure you're protected during this process. All right, So that's why we have our inspection protection program. So now the buyer leaves, they, they go, wow, I, have, I might not get this opportunity if I don't make a great offer. I can feel comfortable even though this home's a little bit older, it's got some weird things and I'm gonna have this, this amazing uh, home warranty protecting me for the next 12 months after we purchase it. And then once we start receiving offers, Susie, now you would think that that's where we would stop. What we do is we take it another step forward, forward and we call this our boom method, our buyer offer optimization method. So now Roger sends me an offer on your home. Most agents would just go, here's, your, here's the offer, Susie. What do you want to do? What do you think? Not me. What I do is I call back Roger and I go, Roger, thank you so much for sending over this offer. It's amazing. You, you, you put together everything on the seller preferred terms but I have to let you know, you saw the activity that was here today. I'm worried that if you don't go back to your buyers and come with their absolutely highest and best, you're not gonna be in a position to win this property tonight. So I'd like you to go back, talk to your buyers one more time, let them know that we have a ton of interest. We also have interest that's gonna be ready to come tomorrow. And if they wanna lock this up tonight, I'm gonna need the best overall offer 
for us to have you receive this or to be under contract and, and go under contract tonight with this property. So Susie, they go back to their buyer, they talk to them, they now come back to me with their absolute highest and best offer. That's the offer that I'm going to deliver to you. Now, Susie, we'll go through the offer or offers, right? Offer or offers. From there, we'll make a decision for you to either accept the offer, counter the offer, or for whatever reason, if you don't feel it's appropriate, you can decline the offer. Now, I want you to understand these offers are from the most serious buyers. Remember, we had all this time for everyone to have interest in your property. These are the most serious people out there that are interested in making an offer on your home. Now, what we want to do is make sure that we're not missing this opportunity. If you go, well, wow, I got great offers. Can I see what happens tomorrow? Every time I've worked with a seller that's waited to see what happens tomorrow, usually what happens is those buyers that are currently interested in your property go, well, you know what, if they're going to wait till tomorrow, then yeah, I'm going to rescind my offer and let's see what happens tomorrow. And if they don't get anything good, then I'm just going to lowball them with whatever I feel comfortable with. So remember, we're taking advantage of the psychological mindset of a buyer and also knowing that all the other millions of people that had access to your property decided not to come. So we got to make sure that we're really cognizant of taking advantage of this energy and getting you under contract Saturday night. Okay, so now our program, the reason we developed it was to solve these problems. We know that urgency plus security equals more net profit for you. And please remember that urgency and security. We're creating that buyer urgency and we're providing them security with that inspection protection program to move forward so that you get the highest price with the best terms. Okay, now. We didn't come up with this, Susie. I wish I could take credit for it. We are using the same buyer psychology that the top Fortune 500 companies use across the planet, right? And I'm sure you've seen the lines outside of a, an Apple store when a new iPhone is released. Susie, they have all the iPhones in the world to produce. There's no shortage of them. They create a sense of scarcity so that everyone creates excitement so you want that iPhone and you're willing to pay more for that iPhone. Same thing with Tesla, same thing with a lot of these companies. They focused on the psychology of how the buyer works. Now, when we're thinking about the buyer's mindset, we've got to kind of go through their emotional mind. So first of all, they go, great, right? Number one, I really like this home. I can't afford to wait to, to see it. Let's see it today. Number two, they get a VIP experience. They're getting in before the rest of the public. So wow, that makes me feel really special. Then they go, look, there's so many people here, or there's so much interest, or I'm scared about the interest that could possibly be coming tomorrow. If I don't make a good offer, I could lose this home. And then lastly, they're super happy and they're very comfortable moving forward because they feel protected with our inspection protection program. Now, in addition to that, we also have developed a few additional strategies to make sure that we enhance this overall process. Number one, we talked about this your seller preferred terms. In a moment, I'm gonna take you through and make sure I know exactly what you want, when you want it, and how you want it, so that, again, we're not waiting for the buyer to tell you what they want, you're gonna get what you want. Number two is, prior to arriving at your property, I provided, or I completed a detailed active market analysis, what we call an AMA. I studied all of the, the, the comparables in the area, but what we want to focus on is who you're going to be competing with when we take this property active to make sure we create enough frenzy on your initial asking price to make sure we drive it way up higher than what actual market value would have even been. So I'm going to make sure that you're really clear on that. So Susie, what we know is that the traditional way that real estate is sold is broken and our innovative program has solved that, has fixed it. Now, in addition to that, our program and our organization has been featured on, on these amazing publications. I don't say that to impress you. I say it to impress upon you the power of this strategy and the success that we've had with it. So now, Susie, the next thing that we need to do is go through your seller preferred terms. Now, I'm going to cut the role play right there. 
All right. And the reason I wanted to finish that last line, this slide doesn't matter with it. I just want to make sure this would be left up on your laptop or it would be the last page in your brochure that you're showing. Now, if you don't, if you haven't been featured on these in your local area, don't worry. This is where you can put a testimonial page for you. This is where you could put the size of your company and how many homes they've sold. Remember, you're not, you're not us. You, you haven't you know, had the success that we've had or certain things. This is a validity page, so you can customize this to whatever makes you or your company look amazing. Let's say that your, your company last year sold, I don't know, 60 billion homes or 6,000 homes or whatever it is. Leverage the power of a validity page and say, this is why I'm so good. Or maybe it's little pictures with testimonials from previous sellers that you've helped. Or if you're brand new, like I said, you can, you can use your company, right? Use, use the success of something to go, the reason we sell so many homes is because of this program.